Kim Ox 7 here, how are you? Uh, such a cool story coming off of Autism Awareness Month last month to see this cool story of a valedictorian down in Winter Park, Florida, giving the address at the graduation ceremony. It's just so cool. And her name is Elizabeth Bonker. I'm going to show you the article here, give you a snippet of the video. But she's completely nonverbal, so she has to use this sort of electric speaking device and to see how far autism has come and to see how incredibly intellectually gifted and smart so many nonverbal adults with autism are and young adults and children that that intelligence is there autism is not a lack of intelligence it is is a lack of output oftentimes now let's jump into this sorry for my hiatus I was actually up in uh, Minnesota for the graduation of my stepdaughter, Alex, who graduated from the University of Minnesota Duluth. Just a really cool celebration up there and 600 graduates. And she is just uh, such a rising star and most adorable uh, stepdaughter. I'm very lucky and gifted to have her in my life. Um, so let's jump into the story and show you some of it. It's... Uh, you know, a stark reminder of anything that's possible. Um, and she doesn't even seem nervous up there on the stage. She's just incredible. There she is right there. So let me read you some of this, and then I'm going to play you a snippet of her actual valedictorian address. College valedictorian has not spoken since the age of 15 months. So her, her mom says that she actually did have speech prior to 15 months due to autism, delivered a moving commencement speech urging her fellow graduates to use their voices. God gave you a voice. Use it, Elizabeth Bonker told the graduating class of Rollins College in her May 8th commencement at speech. And know the irony of non-speaking autistic encouraging you to use your voice is not lost on me. What a great line. Because if you can see the worth in me, then you can see the worth in everyone you meet. Bonker was unanimously chosen by her fellow valedictorians to deliver the speech to the college 529 graduating students. She used a text-to-speech computer program to deliver her speech, according to Rollins College, a private college in Winter Park, Florida. Bonker has used typing to communicate since losing her ability to speak at 15 months due to autism. Personally, I have struggled my whole life with not being heard or accepted, Bonker said in her speech. A story on the front page of our local newspaper actually reported that the principal at my high school told a staff member the retard can't be valedictorian. She continued, yet today here I stand. Each day I choose to celebrate small victories and today I am celebrating a big victory with all of you. Bonker, who graduated with a degree in social innovation, created her own nonprofit organization called Communication for All that works to ensure that non-speaking speakers with autism have access to the communication and education essential to living meaningful lives. She also is a poet and author who wrote a book called I Am In Here. Around one in 44 persons has autism, which da 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 da. A list line here, 31 million people around the world have nonverbal autism, which means autism has impacted their ability to speak. Just an incredible, incredible, inspiring story. And for me, personally, I have just witnessed a graduation and a commencement speech in Duluth, Minnesota. You know, the speech I witnessed was pretty standard, nothing out of this world. I would have much rather have seen something like Elizabeth. So here she is. Sit back and listen to some of this. Rollins has instilled in all of us that service to others gives meaning to our own lives and to those we serve. Viktor Frankl wrote about the power of sharing in his book, Man's Search for Meaning. While suffering in the Nazi concentration camp at Auschwitz, he noted how, despite the horror, there were prisoners who shared their last crust of bread. He writes, everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. We all have been given so much, including the freedom to choose our own way. Personally, I have struggled my whole life with not being heard or accepted. A story on the front page of our local newspaper reported how the principal at my high school told a staff member, the retard can't be valedictorian. Yet today, here I stand. 
Each day, I choose to celebrate small victories, and today, I am celebrating a big victory with all of you. The freedom to choose our own way is our fundamental human right, and it is a right worth defending, not just for us, but for every human being. I want to publicly thank Rollins College for taking a chance on me, for caring about every student, for being a place where kindness lives. Dear classmates, today we commence together. But from here, we will choose our own ways. For me, I have a dream. Yes, just like Martin Luther King Jr., I have a dream. Communication for all. There are 31 million non-speakers with autism in the world who are locked in a silent cage. My life will be dedicated to relieving them from suffering in silence and to giving them voices to choose their own way. What is your dream? How will you use your Rollins education to fulfill your mission? How will you rise up to meet the unprecedented challenges of our time? Whatever our life choices, each and every one of us can live a life of service to our families, to our communities, and to the world. And the world can't wait to see our light shine. So, my call to action today is simple. Tear off a small piece from your commencement program and write Life is for Service on it. Yes. We gave you the pens to really do it. Let's start a new tradition. Take a photo and post it on social media. Then put it in your wallet or some other safe place, just as Mr. Rogers did. And when we... I'll put a link to the rest of this down below. I think the message there is clear that life is for service. And that's the main message and theme of her speech. I went to an all-boys Catholic high school back uh, way back when. And our motto, our slogan for the school is men for others. And I've never forgotten that slogan as I enter age 51 here next week. Um, you go through your life trying to achieve, 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 and gather and find success in relationships, in employment, in work gathering, buying things, doing, doing, doing. And hopefully during that time period, and it's certainly true for myself, you find more happiness, more satisfaction by giving. You know, that whole concept of on Christmas Day, are you having more fun opening your own gifts or are you having more fun and satisfaction watching others open gifts that you gave to them? For many, it's the complete opposite there, that real life and enjoyment is about giving is about serving others and that's her theme here this commencement speech and it's just a powerful powerful message to a, a class of almost 600 young adults as they go out there and tackle the rest of their lives that don't forget that as you lead the rest of your lives to to give and know from someone that has struggled with autism like she has that uh, giving is where it's at I find myself a ton of satisfaction in managing and running and hosting this YouTube channel, Kim Ock 7, because I know I'm giving so much hope and inspiration, especially to parents and those with autism who want to be accepted, who want to be uh, included, you know, inclusion. And it definitely brings me a lot of satisfaction, satisfaction knowing that I'm serving others and I'm giving and helping other parents and those with autism. And what a cool speech today hey if you like this video today please give it a thumbs up please share if you're new to kim ox 7 please subscribe and turn on that notifications bell kim ox 7 is supported and sponsored in partnership with premium jane cbd gummies cbd oils this stuff is fantastic i use it as a sleep aid just take one of these or half of these at night and i sleep like a baby there's a link down below, a hyperlink affiliate link down below. If you're interested in purchasing, please, please use that link down below and use promo code KIMOK and you will save 25%. This has been Chad with KIMOK7. Have a great day and welcome summer 2022. And congratulations to all you graduates out there, whether it's grade school, elementary school, high school, college, or a master's degree or a doctorate. Good for you. Congratulations. Take care.